One of my favorite new features within iOS 6 is called Guided Access. And what Guided Access does is it basically restricts access to certain apps and certain features on your device. So for example, if you're someone who has an iPhone or an iPad and you pass it around to people, you know, if you don't have guided access on, people can access contacts, they can access emails, they can access your web history. In addition, if you're somebody who wants to steer people, for example, on a website to sign up for your email subscription or to sign up for your website, you can also do this. So how do you turn on guided access? Well, first, you want to go into the settings menu and you want to go down to general and then accessibility. Next, you want to look for the section called guided access. Here, you're going to want to select the on button and then you're going to want to set a passcode. And what this does is it basically restricts anyone who's using your device in guided access mode from changing things unless they know your passcode. So once you've got guided access set up, how do you use it? Well, before we get started, I wanted to mention that guided access only works within apps. So for example, if I'm on the home screen of my iPad, I cannot start up guided access. So let's restrict access within Safari. So first, I'm going to go to my website and then I'm going to decide, well, what kinds of things do I want to restrict? In this case, I want somebody to sign up for my email form, so I'm probably going to want to restrict the top sections. To do this, you want to triple click your home button. What this does is it brings up a menu with guided access as an option. Here you want to select guided access. You're going to now have three different options. One of those is to turn off the home button, which basically would restrict somebody from being able to get out of your device and access the home menu. You also have touch. This can be turned on or off. It's probably best to leave this on unless you have somebody watching a video. This way you don't want them touching the screen. Last, you have motion. And what this does basically is it locks your device. So in this case, if I have my iPad in landscape and this is what I want people to view it in, I can lock it so that when they turn it, it doesn't do anything. So when you're ready, all you have to do now to restrict access is draw around the things. So for example, we're going to draw around the top part of my website because I don't want people to be able to go to another website. I don't want them to be able to access my bookmarks, nor do I want them to go anywhere on my website. If you didn't quite get everything drawn, you can just drag the corners. Basically what it does is it will block off that part of your site. You can add to things just by drawing around them. As you can see here, we've restricted the top and the right hand side and left just the middle open. When you're ready, click start. What this does now is basically your iPad is only accessible in the middle section. As you can see here, I cannot tap anything except the form field. So unfortunately, this setup doesn't exactly work that well with guided access. So I want to make sure that I go and change this. To do this, you just triple click the home button. You get asked to enter your passcode that you set. And now you can go back and change any of the options and also remove anything you've drawn. If you want to end guided access, all you need to do is tap end in the top left hand corner. So that's it guys. That's how to use guided access on an iOS device. If you have any questions or you get stuck on this, feel free to send me a message. As always, thanks for watching.